Today we're talking about a topic which is known as the Sabbath. You may wonder, which day is the Sabbath? The Sabbath? Can you just choose to say this is the Sabbath for me? Or does the Sabbath belong to God? Of course it does. Because God is the one who created the Sabbath. In the beginning, you remember Genesis 1 verse 1? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And of course, he took six days. And he made the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sixth day, and then on the seventh day, he rested. Of course, that's what God says in Genesis chapter 1 and 2, of course. So, which day is the Sabbath day? Can you just choose? No, it's not that simple just to say, the Sabbath is this day. People take it to be Saturday. What do you think? They take it to be Sunday. What do you think? Others, maybe they take it a Friday or any day. Or others don't even believe in it at all. Well, let's look at it together. In the world, everybody knows that the first day of the week is Sunday. Believe it or not, of course it's true. If you're going to school or not to school, but you know the week starts on the Sunday. Yes, find out. And the week ends on a Saturday. Of course it does. That's what we know. And that's what, what the world knows. The first day of the week is always. It has always been Sunday. You want to change it? You're going against what the truth is all about. And the last day of the week, definitely, if the first day of the week is Sunday, then it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's the seventh day of the week. Believe it or not, it is the seventh day of the week. Now, how do you prove it? Do I have to prove it? Or would you take the word as it is? Of course. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, I the Lord do not change. So God has not changed it. Yeah? Take it? Of course. And then as well, Psalm 89 verse 34, it says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that's gone out of my lips. That's what God says. He does not change. God, he says, and he stays like that. He may be merciful. People may be thinking, oh, he has changed. No, he might just show mercy to you. But he does not change. Let me tell you one thing. The word Sabbath means the seventh day of the week, rest day. Now, in the Croatian language, Sabbath is Subota. In the Maori language is Hapati. In Indonesian language is Sabbat. In Somali is Haptida. In Spanish is Sabado. Same like in Portuguese, South American languages or European languages. In Afrikaans, Sabbat. Vietnamese, Sabbat. Welsh is uh, Saboth. And then, of course, Italian is Sabato. Now, in Danish, whichever language, Sabbat in Czech, in the, in the Czech Republic, everywhere in the Zulu language as well, Le Sabata, and in Sisutu as well, is known as Sabata. So, where do you run to now? Of course, nothing has changed. Sabbath means Sabbath. Sabbath means rest day. And rest day means rest day. Let me tell you one thing. God put it. Because God put it, you cannot change it. I'll give you one proof. In the book of Matthew, chapter 28. You remember? Jesus Christ, he was killed on this Friday. Good Friday, that's Easter. And then he rested in the grave on Saturday, which is Sabbath, and he rose again on the first day of the week. 
He was in the grave Friday, Saturday, and Sunday he rose again. On the third day, that's what he promised. So, here we are, Matthew 28, verse 1. It says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the tomb where Jesus was laid and he had risen. That's why I am proud because Jesus Christ rose on the first day of the week. Do you know what? Secret? He rested on the Sabbath. He remained in the grave giving us an example. Of course. Now, Matthew 28 verse 1 as it is, of course, the one I read to you, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week. Now, don't forget this as well, and don't confuse it. A day, according to, um, according to um, Genesis chapter 1 verse 5, a day starts in the evening. So, evening of Friday, and evening of Saturday, and of course early morning on Sunday that's when he arose from the grave don't forget that now to conclude this matter as it were to give the final proof I'll read to you Matthew 23 no not Matthew sorry Luke 23 uh, I'll read you from the verse 54 it says and the day and that day was preparation day and the sabbath drew on that's when jesus christ was killed and then the women which had come he followed to the grave of course and verse 56 says and they returned and prepared spices and ointments according to the commandments and they rested on the sabbath day jesus christ was killed on friday in the afternoon in the evening he was laid to rest. The Sabbath started at sunset. And then the women had just gone there to have a look. And so they can go back after the Sabbath to put spices on the body of Jesus Christ so that he does not rot. Of course, that's how they used to do. But there's one thing here. Luke 24 verse 1, he says, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning they came to the tomb to bring the spices which they had prepared to put on the body of Christ. Voila! They did not find the body of Jesus Christ. He had risen, of course. He rose on the first day of the week. First day of the week is Sunday. And first day of the week and Sabbath, they are not the same. Of course they are not. The first day of the week is Sunday. The last day of the week, Sabbath, is Saturday. Go anywhere in the world and find out. You'll see. The first day of the week is always Sunday. The last day, which is known as Sabbath, as I said in so many languages of the world, they always say the same. So, don't let anyone fool you. The first day of the week will always be Sunday. And the last day of, week, of the week will always be Saturday, which is known as the Sabbath. And don't forget, I do not change. That's what God says. He didn't change. Let me tell you one thing, one little secret. The devil, he puts in his theories to change, to go against God. That's why people pray on the first day they say because he rose but nowhere in the scriptures are we told that the day will change no God never says that if it was supposed to have been then the word of God would have told us that things would change but God never changed so from today take it from the word the Sabbath stays a Saturday and never a Sunday and you cannot choose to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or any day you want because in Indonesian language, Sabbath in Afrikaans, Sabbath also in Portuguese, Sabado in Danish, Sabbath in Croatian, Subalta well, you can't change that and you can't beat that
God bless as you keep reading.